probably annoy the shit out of you with this microphone. You let me know. Pretty stream. Yeah, I would like all of this would be great for dry dropper, don't you think? The depth yeah. of it? Yeah, I would think so. Definitely. But I don't know about this time of year, but I guess you can yeah. find out. Might be more like once the sun you know, starts hitting the water a little bit more. Yeah. It's beautiful water though. What do you got on there, Mike? Uh purple double treble and a white one. Both size ten. Ten. <laughs> That's all I do. I don't even carry 14s and 12s. Those are nice looking flies. <laughs> they catch the big ones. So last night, I get a text message from the Lively Legs guys asking if we were going to be fishing today. So, of course, you know, I told them. We're friends. I told them where we'd be fishing. We get here to the stream. Look who's here. Iron Mike, Big Tribe. I thought we were friends. Lively Legs scum. So for anybody that's new to our channel, um, we fish a lot with, with these guys. These are our good friends, um, Mike and Andy. They own a company called Lively Legs. It's basically a one-stop shop online company where you can get on there and find pretty much anything fly fishing related that you would ever need to be out here doing what we're doing today. So pretty cool company and, and great guys to deal with. He just caught two for two on the olive one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any double trouble. On That's the tank? I think I heard they hatch in this stream. I don't know, though. I did hear that. You might want to check some rocks, Andy, later. I don't know. Later on, we'll look for the elusive yeah. pink, pink nymph. All right. Pretty, pretty cool company and, and great guys to deal with. But how did you guys, like, how did you start Lively Legs? Oh, I think one, it's been about, what, seven years now? Yeah. Seven years ago, I came up with this crazy idea to invent a little silicone product for nymphs. And we, we basically started with that. And talking to Ben and Andy, I said, why don't we just get a little, because the machine was a little costly to make, you know, more than we wanted to invest in. Right and fishing so I said to Ben why don't we just get an online store and you know try selling a few because they really do they work well they make your nymphs look great and they're fun they're fun to tie on and so, it's like the silicone leg just a little silicone leg rather than that replicating tie, with feathers yeah tie onto the nymph tie onto the nymph and we started selling those and they started selling well and then we went to flies and now we grew into a full-fledged fly shop and now seven years later we ship all over the country Beautiful stream, beautiful fish. This is this is my favorite personally. Mm -hmm. 
I think our, our, our favorite thing about it though is, you know, making so many connections with people. Like we would have never met you guys oh, if we right. didn't have the have the same common bond and just met so many great people through the business. And that, that's by far my personal favorite favorite part. There's gonna be one in there. Yeah. Is this a guaranteed fish? Percent. <laughs> percent. Not percent. Fish the lower end here first. It's a nice one. That's a good one. Oh my god. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be out with you guys. Nice day. Nice fish. Nice company. Got the model with us. Big try. Okay, we're out here fishing for brookies. I'm going to take a look to see what these brookies are uh, feeding on and uh, maybe put one on. Ah, looky there. Flip that rock over. There's a pink fly for the legs. I'm going to tie that on. Give it a try. Stay tuned. That's a pretty good one, isn't it, Annie? Oh, double, double! Ah! <laughs> Got a double. First, first double of the day. Big drive. Looks about right there. <laughs> Andy, you were just friends with the guys growing up, or how did? Yeah, we uh, we've been friends for a long time. Uh, back our bait fishing days years ago, um, I used to go up to Mike's camp for. We always had a tradition first weekend mm -hmm. that drought, and uh, and then. Whenever Ben got out of the military, uh, I started tagging along. He, he had been going up to uh, Kettle Creek with his dad for a long time. And uh, I think it was, I want to say 20 years was last year we would have made, but I uh, ended up with some uh, medical issues, so I didn't make that trip, but I'll be going back this year. Just. Uh... Just released mine and Big Tribe already has one in the net right upstream here. That's what it's about right there. You take that pink that pink nymph? Yeah, you did take that pink nymph. Right there. That's what he ate. So yeah, I mean if you guys wanna Definitely check it out, um, LivelyLegs.com. Like I said, they have anything you could possibly think of. Um, they just released the, the net man. I don't know if yeah. you guys have been seeing. We carry it on our waist here, and we get a lot of questions about it. Yeah, the quick story behind that is, like, trips like this. What are we, probably two miles back in now? Two yeah. miles? Yeah. And, you know, always carrying a net on the magnet or a retractor, it always seemed to get caught up and drug along. So I had a little bit of time last summer, and... I just said to the guys, let's sit down and think of something, a more effective way to carry, carry a net. And so we did, and I drew like up on paper, and I went down to a, um, a plastic mold injection place and met with an engineer, and he was a lot of help and helped me, you know, put the design into fruition or whatever. And 
That's what we came up with. But can I, can I show real quick yeah. how it works? Yeah, yeah. It, it basically, it just goes, um, like here's my net. Um, a little net bracket goes on the side and it just tucks down into a chamber and there's a, it's actually a neodymium magnetic connection. You know, it just holds it down in. You can net your fish and simply put it back in. And when I'm walking, I like to keep it on my side and you'll notice when I'm fishing, I slide it back to the back a little bit, but um, yeah, it's really, really convenient and I like it. <laughs> so. They're also pretty. They're just real orange and beautiful fish. It's your turn to catch them, nobody. So even for people that that know lively legs and use the you know use their company and stuff it's cool just to get a little bit of background on everything and um, they also have a YouTube channel they go out and make make videos too and they do a lot of uh, instructional videos you know like how to I know Benny does a lot of like yeah. like reading the water and, and targeting the fish and how to get that nice tight line drift and everything like that and I know a lot of people have watched the videos and it's really helped them out tremendously. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, definitely check them out. Great guys. And as you can tell, we have a blast out here doing this. Yeah, so it's great. It's great. Where else can you be lost in the middle of the mountains like this? Yeah. Mountain, giant mountain here, giant mountain here. And we got to walk up it at the end, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. But, all right. Let's Caleb, keep... it's so nice you're back. I know you can't see him on the camera, but. <laughs> He made, he made just, he drove back just for the day to make this trip. From, from Montana. <laughs> from Montana. <laughs> but, so, no, it's right. so nice to be with you guys, though, and thank you for putting the film together for sure. Absolutely. So, all right, let's keep going. Let's do it. <laughs> this is like, this is like the Three Stooges. <laughs> What's up? We are hiking back out. Pretty pretty bummed we have to, to leave the guys, but I gotta go. I gotta go work. I, I actually am part owner of a turkey call company and it's almost turkey season so it's heating up pretty busy. And um, so we're gonna hike down out of the mountain here, get back to the back to the truck and get out of here.